we'll just go ahead and open straight up to questions. That was a little tougher test for you guys, obviously, with Montana. I mean, that would totally go away. Um, yeah, they, they were a pretty good team, you know, probably the, the best team we played so, so far. And it was a good test for us, you know, just kind of a wake up call that we just got to keep grinding every day and try to make a step forward every day. So you, you personally started 0-4 from the field. Yeah. But then you made your next four shots and then kind of locked in and were able to hit those. What kind of flip for you there starting before them. Can't think too much about my misses, you know. I know the team needs me and so I just gotta stay not too high, not too low, you know, keep doing what I do for the team and which is, you know, score. Did you realize you're perfect from the free throw line? Yeah, I was thinking about it. <laughs> not uh, just try to get the free points, you know, free throws. I have to get all of them, you know, nobody guarded me, so I should be making all of them. Ian, you took a decent lead into the half, and then the second half, one kind of came back and took it to within two on a couple of different occasions, but you never gave up the lead. What were you able to do to make sure, you know, you just stayed on top of it and you didn't give up that lead? Like I mentioned before, we just had to try to stay, you know, more balanced throughout the game, not too high and not too low, especially when they're getting a, on the run. We just kind of have to keep a good attitude just as a team and just try to stay in sync and take advantage every time we get a stop. And that way, and we turn it around from their run to our run. You and Mason were obviously the offensive juggernaut tonight. Uh, he got some tough points, there, especially towards the end of the second half. Where he was hitting the floor a lot, but doing the line as well and getting the basket. Yeah, it was just one of those nights where, you know, just a couple guys happened to be clicking, you know, scoring a lot. And and like I mentioned before, I think we have a lot of a depth. We're a pretty deep team. So, you know, we could have some other games where there's some other two, three guys that it's just kind of their time to shine. Today just happened to be me and Mason. Only nine assists from the offense tonight. What was the Montana defense doing to kind of limit the ball movement? Not too totally discredit them, um, but I think it was more on our end. Um, I think we needed to come in with a better mindset offensively and not let them get into us uh, defensively. They did a good job being physical with us, and we just have to do a better job next time and uh, next game to just try to stay solid whenever somebody's guarding us and not let them push us and get us out of the, the offense. Yeah, you guys as a team attempted 36 free throws compared to Montana, only 20. What was it that you were able to get the free throw line so much? Was it just more aggressive, or what do you think contributed to that? And we just took advantage of the other team being aggressive on defense and ended up paying off well. And I mentioned me and Mason. I think AT also got some free throws, you know, just uh, being aggressive as we drove to the basket or when they close out. For me, I got fouled in the three-point line a couple times. And yeah, we just took advantage of their aggressiveness. Uh, not the best defensive game for you guys tonight. Did Auburn being out impact that at all? Were there other factors as well that led to that? Yeah, I think it definitely uh, impacted us. You know, a lot of times he gets uh, more reps in practice or more minutes in the game, and he does a good job in communicating, being the, the goalie in the game. So it could have something to do with it, but I think the other guys, you know, also have to do a, a better job next time, just being ready for it and. I mean, I think KT is taking advantage of these few minutes, and we have to get Isaac in there so he keeps getting that experience and you know feeling more comfortable because we can definitely use him more. You mentioned you mentioned Carson. Uh, obviously, you got to see him last year when he was a freshman. This year, mm -hmm. getting his first start in the like, 12 points, nine rebounds. What growth have you seen from him from last year to this year? Yeah, this is amazing. You know, big jump from freshman to, to sophomore is very hard uh, to come in as a freshman. There's a lot of frustration that you can go through, you know, just the confidence, you know, maybe going down at certain points of the season. So just him uh, maintaining that mentality, just staying ready for, for the moment has been great. And he has been putting a lot of work in for that. You guys had the opportunity to kind of Oh yeah, definitely. I can't wait to get on the road. Uh, last year, that was 
all I used to think about because every time I went on the road, I I used to go crazy. So I couldn't I couldn't wait to go on the road. Just and I was joking around with my teammates last year. It was just kind of liking to be that kind of villain at the at the other uh, team's homes. You know, everybody's kind of just going against you, and you know it's tougher. So we just got to get that opportunity to show that we're, we can be a tough team and just go and be other teams on the road.